Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe today. ZZR 1400, the beautiful Kawasaki ZX14, whatever you want to call them. What are we going to be doing? Well, because the guy put this back together with brand new panels, um, I wasn't there. That's what it comes down to. So, some of the panels don't feel quite right to me. Um, it was in a garage, she's had a little garage, a few little tools. I want to get every single panel off of this bike. I'm going to do a service on it. The tank's got to come up anyway. See, batch on charge, which I always say makes sense while you're there. This bike was sat for four years, really, and the battery's still good. That's, that's, that's a testament to what battery's under here. And I think I'll copy it. Um, I'm going to be changing the back a little bit, taking the rack off here, putting this solid one on here, um, all the panels off. Um, we're going to be looking at all the um, brackets cleaning them up and painting them. Um, generally good clean, um, oil filter, air filter, oil out, uh, sun plug, and then clean every single thing I can on this bike, lubricate everything I can get to. Um, light bulbs changing, put the LEDs at the side. Um, I think these are H4, H7s, I always get mixed up which way they are. But I'll be changing them as well to LEDs, look a lot newer, make the whole bike look a lot newer and a lot nicer. So she's back to the original height. If you watched my other video recently, it was about the height on here. Someone had lowered the bike massively. Um, you know, the, the wheel to the floor was that much, and now it's like where it should be. I'm five seven and a half ish. Um, getting small every year. I think I keep saying that. Uh, but I'm happy where I am now with this. It felt odd how low it was. If I'm honest with you, and the kit that's on here seemed to be able to jack up as well. Red up, it just says lowering kit, but it most certainly does jack the back up. So I am happy with this so far. Let's get all the panels off. Now I'm not going to bore you with that. All I'd say to you is that when you do take the front panels off, remember they've got indicators, make sure you get the wires done. And however you want to do it, get several little boxes and put each bolt to where you need them to go. Whatever way you want to do it, just do not chuck them all in a big pot. You guarantee, <laughs> you can guarantee you're going to at the end of the day you think, well I've still got three washers and two bolts left and you never know where they come from. So space them out however you want to. Either take one side off at a time, whatever you need to do, just make sure you put them back in the right places. When I was working the peds first off, I used to take the seat off, and when the tank came off, I used to put the bolts back in the holes. Maybe that's an idea to put them back in where they were. However you're going to work it out. Now, with this though, I realised you put all the original ones back in. Top tip, make sure you've got a quality set of Allen keys. Okay, if you do a socket, make sure they're quality. Don't do cheap ones, because these bolts, if you get the cheap ones in there and clean them out, and it starts rounding it, you're in a world of pain, you've got to cut them, try and drill them out, oh, it's going to be horrible. Not only did this since being indoors all this time, it should be quite easy to get off again. However, scattered on the floor was all the bags with brand new ones. Now, these are not going to be your top quality um, ones you can buy for a lot of money off of eBay. You know, you change the whole set. And I bought this off of eBay a while ago, which I think is really, really handy. And it comes with a little set as well to get the things out. So I've got extras and spares if I need them. So any look tarnished, I'll put these ones in. Right, let me get on with this. I want to put some music on because I'm working on my own. Uh, YouTube don't like music in the background and some of you say you don't like them anyway. And I'm not going to do that fast forward thing. You see me on the floor, I'm here on the floor, on the floor, and it all comes off. Panels are panels, they're coming off. We get to look at the engine underneath it though, it's probably a lot of you don't get to see. And hopefully this video will help you make a decision that you can do this. Do you know, I've done a lot of um, Triumph Tiger uh, services, uh, Kawasaki Versus, they're on there as well. It's just having the confidence to get all the bolts off and get the nitty gritty. Once it's off and you see the plugs, it, you know, it's really, really easy and you will save a lot, a lot of money. For the whole kit for this, aside from top of the range synthetic oil, um, iridium plugs, I didn't get a canyon filter, when you've got a bike to do under 80 mile an hour, I don't see any difference, so I've got a Heflow one coming, and the same as the old um, filter, I think it was £93, you go into a garage and find out how much full service on one of these, you're going to be astonished by the labour charges, and the waste disposal, and everything else, you, know, you could be looking at three, 400 quid. I'm not. I'm not going to say any more than that, simple as that. Do it yourself, you'll enjoy it, you know it's done properly. And most of the garages now, the format, I don't fill it up, I certainly on cars. You know, my wife's got um, a nice Audi, and when she went to the garage and came back, I checked the oil, and it was halfway. They don't fill up every corner they can cut, 
They're cutting nowadays to save money. Don't need it. Right, will you next see this? All the panels off, get to see what's the bare knuckles of this. See you in a minute. So, okay. You know, I had to stop because I've only taken like actually one side panel off so far and took some bolts out from around the casing that covers the tank. And look, three of the same bolts that held the tank in, they're the side. This one's different. That's a tiny one, should be the same size as them. These are the side ones. You know, he's only just pushed them through. So they haven't even actually connected. The other side panel is completely loose. He's put washers on some, not on the other. This allows panels to move, um, rub, because they haven't got the washer there, over tighten, which means that plastics would more likely crack at silly speeds. Just get it right. You know, I know, it's basically, I know what he's done, he's took all the panels off, whacked them all on, that bottle go in there, that doesn't, that bottle go. No. So that's why I'm happy to be able to take all these panels off. So these panels are really nice looking panels, not best on the back, but these two lugs, there's nothing on the other side to push into. That was the front lug, can you see that? Look. They put the screw in and that in, it just wasn't, it wasn't, sit, wasn't doing anything. This would be moving around. At high speed, I wouldn't want to think how much vibration these take, pushing and pulling and everything else. So just one panel wrong. This side panel won't come off because it's bunged in. You know? Anyway, let's get on with this and put the music back on, find a battery. <laughs> I don't know where it is on this one, I can't remember in so long, maybe under the front panels. I'm going to find it under the tank, I don't know, I'll find it and get it off. So I found the battery, it's this side. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't need to take the tank off because it turns out it's solid up here anyway. I'm sure the airfield was somewhere. When getting the tank off though, there's two little pipes back here. Um, electric plugs back here, you need a screwdriver, just lift them up. And then you've got this main one here, this orange bit, pull up. Do not smash it, snap it, wrench it bad okay lots of problems if you end up doing that the batteries here but look another panel you know it just pushed in they're all like it and the problem you're going to have is you know you're going over a pothole or, or at speed they're moving it's just been uncomfortable ride so that's why i want to take them all off and get them all put on properly but let's get this battery off get it charged and then look around where everything is um hopefully spark plugs are going to be in here very probably hard to get out We'll have a look, won't we? Um, I don't remember it. It was about six years ago when I last done one like this. So uh, it's been some time. But the basics are there. Watch this video. Hopefully it'll help you. I'll stop and show you each place where they are. Okay? As for the brake and the um, clutch fluids, the rear brake fluid for the brakes is here under the seat. And obviously clutch and brake. It's not a major job. Um, make sure you top them up. Follow what it says, dot four, dot four on the top, use dot four and not dot five, etc. It's just, just slightly different, but use what it says. End of the day, you're going to muck the system up. Don't let it empty. If you let it empty, you're going to have some fun trying to get it all back through. You're going to top it up, bleed it through, top it up, bleed it through. Do it that way, okay? It's nice and easy. Separate video coming up for that, kind of bore you, it'd be too long as it is. So a little video how to bleed these through. They charge you good money at the garage for it, and it's a simple little job as long as you follow the simple basics of holding, undo, brake, back up again, that way, okay? Um, otherwise, if you let it all drain out, world of pain. I get I've probably taken off more panels than I need to, so I took this panel off here. We're looking for the battery, so I found it, and I want to make sure that it wasn't caught in there. I've just took this panel off to have a look at the butterflies to find the air filter. Um, only 10 mil. Didn't need to do it. Then I found this little panel at the side. And it turns out that there is your air filter. Quite dirty, isn't it? So I'm glad I've got a new one coming. Right, nice and easy. Let's get on with it. Most of the panel's off. There was no bolts on this side. Um, the bolt that held the main shaft in here was out about a centimetre, so the, the other side didn't have it in. Nah. Anyway, sump, nice and easy, sump plugs just here, okay? Some of the kits you can buy will give you a new washer with them, some don't. I've generally found not being a problem. Now, my biggest buy, and I've got about this before, I've got a video of this. This eBay job, Amazon, where are you going to get it from? You can use it time and time again. It's got every single shape and size for the filters. There's so many here. Uh, literally, you know, it's so much easier than the old way. It just pops on there, you undo it, and it comes off so safely. Um, there's no damage done. 
Well, well worth it. And I said, there's so many different shapes and sizes here. There's the white one, and just pops on there. It gives you either one you want to do. Go and buy one of these, okay? I don't know how much they are now. I thought I got a really good deal, and it's 25 quid. Um, I think they're probably more now because everything's gone up, hasn't it? You know. Um, but that now will just come straight off, drain the oil out, job done. It's black. Now the water, as I said, it was really, really low. You can see it. But this was loose. It, um, you can see some a little bit around it, to be honest with you. Um, it's coming out now. So I'm going to drain the water out and then refit that and get it nice and tight up there um, so it's better. But it was obviously leaking out of here. That's why the system was low. Something you don't want happening. And it leaks so minimal, it's not a drop on the floor. And the engine gets warm and of course evaporates everything. So you end up with this sort of crystallisation on it. That's how you know you've been leaking. So this is going to come off, water come out, nice fresh water in there. When you put the new water back in, make sure it's high. Um, let it run for a little while until all the valves and um, little shutter bits and everything else is open. Thermostat should I say. Wait for that to open, run it through, top it up, job done. Um, the exhaust now are nice and easy to see. I'm going to use my little trip and harpic video on my channel about that and that will clean them up, look like new um, and then I'll be able to get the exhaust if I buy a set. I've got to buy a set, I'm just going to see what I can best pay. Bleeding the clutch and brakes, little pop, little pipe, well worth it, cut the pee to make or you can buy them, professional ones. I think actually I've got a proper work manual one, you can suck it through but I don't, I didn't get on with it, don't like it. Anyway, there you go. You now know where the water fill is. You now know where the sump and the um, oil is. You now know where the air filter is. Getting the HD caps off of them and then getting the plugs out is probably going to be a real bitch. It's got to be done. It really has. Looking at how dirty that air filter is says to me that it hasn't been done in a while. This bike, this bike did central miles for the first three years. 10,000, so 3,000 a year. Perfect. And then 2014 did 9,000 miles, 2015 11,000 miles, brought up to 30,000 miles. And then from 2015 to date, it did a measly 8,000 miles. So it had a hard life for two years. Three owners, so I'm guessing the first owner had it for three years, the second bike, and then thought, bug it, use it. Sold it to someone else, and the bloke here who had it did 1,000 miles. So he didn't do it. So it's the middle owner, I think, that must have done the, the big miles. Oh, I, mean, I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with this. We are hammering along today. Um, oil out, filter was a bit of a bitch. I, had, I put the thing on, it's still slipping, so I did the old fashioned way. I put that on, put a screwdriver through as well, and it did it together. Got it straight away off. That had been on there some time, believe you me. Oh, it's still dripping out there. Dot 4, doesn't matter what brand, personal choice. Anyway, for this is so simple. I was on my channel, I've got loads of brake bleeding videos. It ain't, it ain't rocket science. So, keep the reservoir, which is here top to maximum okay must keep it top maximum you just pump the brake a few times now <laughs> the only rule I can never give you is brake fluid loves paint <laughs> the paint doesn't love it what I'm trying to say is do not drip this on your paintwork it will take the lacquer off and it will ruin it and make you horrible and you're just gonna hate life so just gently put the cap back on keep an eye on it don't run out a little bit of pipe that I showed you earlier, 10 mil spanner, pump a couple of times, let it go. Oh wow, now I want to see that. You see that? That is not good because it's got a bung on it. So that's pretty crap. But you're going to see the basics. Pump, 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 pump a few times and let it go down. Pump, 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 pump a few times, keep an eye on the reservoir. Let it go down. Pump, 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 pump. Let it go down. Pump, there's the air. Pump, 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 pump. Let it go down. Pump, 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 pump. Let it go down. And you start to see it fills up. You start to see slowly it starts to fill the little container. There's still enough in there. So pump, 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 pump. And down it goes. Okay, and it starts to fill up there. You'll notice the brakes start to feel better as well. Look at that. This is really bad, this sponge, you know, look. It feels, oh, it feels so much better. Didn't need a lot. I generally don't. But I'm gonna top it up completely, drain it through and top it up completely again. So it's got completely fresh all through the system. We're gonna replicate that to the front, both sides. 
and then a clutch, exactly the same way. It's not rocket science, okay? Pump, 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 let it go, lock it, let it go, all right? Nice bit of fresh in there. Glug, 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 glug. Don't get a little bottle, make sure you get a litre. You're always going to use it again. So you pump it, you pump it, you pump it, you open the valve and then close the valve before releasing it and then you pump, 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 pump. Let it open. Back again, pump, 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 pump. This pipe keeps a vacuum. That fills up nicely, stops it spraying everywhere. Don't get this stuff in your eyes. Oh my God, it hurts. Oh my God, that is, that is lush now. That is, I can feel that compared to what it was. Right, let's get on with this. I just pulled this pipe off, drained all the water out, popped the pipe back on again, filled up the same pink stuff. It's now full. I've got to run this bike yet, and obviously with no oil in it, probably not a good idea. Um, so that's done. Brakes we're going to do, clutch we're going to do next, top it all up, that's all sorted. And then we're going to try and find these little plugs. So yes, as I thought, the plugs are going to be a bitch to get to. Um, this doesn't come off, so you need an adjustable one with a little linkage there, and you just pop that in there, and take that one out. I always use these because I haven't got the little bit there. So of course, this one is the this one is the easiest one to get to. Second one in, I'm not going to be able to get the magnet bit on us and break it and bend it round. Other side, you've got the throttle cables and stuff. I'll show you in a second. Anyway, one plug. Um, doesn't look too bad. I can't see my glasses anyway. It is an iridium plug, like magic. So, what plug is this? Iridium, expected. Burn on it. I'm beginning to think, just beginning anyway, <laughs> I'm beginning to think that this bike was cared for by the first owner for the first three years. I'm going to guess that then he started using some big mileage, 9,000, 10,000, had all its services it needed, and then it went to the second owner who did absolutely bugger all for the last 8,000 miles to the third owner. Um, they don't look too bad. Um, Obviously I've got a new set coming, and I said it's just a bitch to get to them. But, mm, let's look at the other side. You'll see what I'm saying, you've got all the cable linkages, and it's right in there, so this is going to come out, the big block's going to come out. And you really don't have an awful lot of room in there. The good thing is, I don't really need to do it for every 20,000 miles. I think it's something ridiculous like that, because they're in plugs, and they do do really well. Um, obviously oil and sundries, brake fluids and stuff like that and uh, um, antifreeze don't get done that often periodically. It's the oil and, oil and air filter which are these and you could easily do them. So where are we now? I've got to wait a couple of three days for plugs, air filter, oil filter and fresh oil to come. Um, I've done the clutch fluid, I've done the brake fluid front and rear, now that's not sponge anymore. Uh, we've done the antifreeze, flushed that out, put some new in, got to start it and check that. Right here at the back was the grips, taken it off and put them on. And now, that is really, really on there. Yeah. The sun's out. <laughs> yeah, she just watches out. The sun's out. Right, I've not got the same bulbs. These are um, not H4s or H7s. They're the ones that come around. I don't know the bloody number. Um, but they're under there quite easy to get to to be honest with you when you've got all the fairing panels off um, so they're not going to get done now this was ever so slightly loose there's two bolts in either side and here I got half a turn out of both of them um, fluids all done as I said clutch fluid that looks nicer now even the brake fluid looks a lot nicer there and that one here so they're all done air filter has got to be changed on the floor we can see I've just got the filter out sump plug is back in uh, I'm going to drag it out and do the front exhaust pipes like on my videos, clean them up. And while the fairings are off, it makes sense to try and get these other ones. So it may have to stay this way for a little while. I've still got that. Battery still on charge. This can all go back on. Yeah, I don't know about them. <laughs> and here's the uh, longer one on here. Little mark on there. I feel it looks a bit nicer when the seat's on there. It hasn't got that crappy grip on there. It doesn't look like it's been battered. Bit of cleaning. I'm going to do the chain. 
I'm going to uh, clean up the chain with proper cleaner and then oil it up. See what the the tension's like when it's off the stand. Um, when I do the front exhaust, I'll test that. If I've got to tighten that up, that's not that hard to do. I've got videos on my channel of that. Um, yeah, no, it's okay. So let's uh, spend some time there getting the rest of these out. And yeah, that's not going to be fun. So anyway, there we have the very basics. You know, as I said before, very, very few tools. 17mm, 13mm, um, 10 8 mil, three Allen keys, probably less if they had all the same bolts in them. Um, morning, do you know, it's, it's not a big, big job, obviously a socket, um, still got to take the rest of the three plugs out, but it isn't a big job, you don't need that many tools, just a lot of thought and care when it comes to putting the right bolts in the right places on a powerful bike like this. Now I'm going to get all this back together, so when you next see this, I'll have had the items, I'll put them all on, the spark plug will be in, we'll get all the exhaust sorted out, so it should look quite sexy. I'll do a separate exhaust video so you can hear what they sound like, depending on what I get. And if I get them in time, obviously I've had no, no callback yet from anybody, but it's a, it's a Sunday, so I didn't expect it. My Muller Butter's just arrived from M&B Products, who used to be really good. I didn't used to send them in Muller Butter products. Yeah, okay, this is going to be a two-parter. I've just opened this and I had to show you what's in this box, okay? Service parts, £100 worth, expensive. Um, Iridium plugs, etc. Let's have a look inside the box, shall we? So this is exactly how it arrived. I think this is packaging. And here is my oil, yep, sealed, lovely container, brilliant. Yeah, um, very, very expensive plugs. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that really fills me full of confidence. There was so much movement in the box. Do you know, many, many years ago, my first job, so I used to work for a Canvey. It was uh, H. Nils. And they got a subsidiary company called Data Day, going back well in the early 88. And I'd become a picker packer. And if you had a box this big, you used to slice it down, fold it down, so there's less movement, less packaging. You wouldn't leave it like that. That's just Shit! But alright, that's still his box. Luckily that's not damaged. It's not a bag of crisps, isn't it? You know? Remember the crisps used to be like 30 grams, now you're back to get 19 of the damn things. What's the air for? No, I'm not happy. It's so expensive. Pounds worth, and they couldn't even manage to just put a bit of tape on them and secure these very expensive plugs. No, there's no damage. It's just tacky, isn't it? Right, whinge over. Ordered it Monday. Today's Friday. Say M and B used to be really good on eBay. I'd order it. Monday, you know, I sometimes had it as quickly as Tuesday afternoon. Not anymore. Obviously, they've changed their packing. DHL. Oh my God, DHL. And you got DHL products. They tap at the door, leave at the front door, and run away. I mean, you've got such a contrast from Royal Mail, who won't do anything and take it straight back, and you've got to wait a day to get it. You know, all the other ones now, not Hermes, changed the name now, but at least they do come out the back and put it under my CCTV, it's all good. But DHL, don't even do that. They leave your front door and just knock off. You know, we weren't even in. And then this crap turns up. And this should be good oil. Let's have a look at the oil. I decided to get some expensive one. Not the usual ones. Mm. 
Yeah, this is supposed to be really good oil, so I bought this one for this bike yesterday. I'm sure there's, you know, it, it comes down to whatever people want. Right, we start getting everything back on. So plugs are going to go in, uh, oil filter, and then the oil, uh, sort the water out, battery back on, full on charged. Now put all this back on, put the tank back on, everything goes back on nicely. I'm going to roll outside, I'm going to use my little trip with a Harpic on the front exhausts, headers, clean them all up and then all the fairing panels will go back on and then it clean from its life and then decision times of what to do. Right, check out part two because it's going to be such a noisy exhaust. Anyway, check out part two of when you see all this come back to life out in the sun looking yummy. Disappointingly I bought some Kawasaki 3D chrome stickers, decals, yeah, because I thought they looked nice and uh, they were just like I don't know what's going on with eBay, I really don't. Take care of yourselves on the road. Check out part two. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and staying with me with subscribing. Bye-bye. I wonder if you notice it's been so long since the delivery. I've got a haircut. I mean, continuity. I do try continuity. I do try and stay, but I look completely different, different clothes. And one day, <laughs> I know most of you I'm watching there. I did my F-150 truck. Please watch it. It is really, really good. And I don't think anybody even noticed what I did. I played two parts. I played an American and I played British. But I changed my T-shirt. And I wore five different caps and hats during the whole video. And no one commented on it, probably no one watched it, that thousand views. But it made me chuckle, you know, for continuity. I purposefully changed them and no one even noticed. I mean, no one even looks at me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, well, I'm, I'm going this way. The star of TV, Billy. Good girl. Usual guest. So I plugs are somewhere in there, and they're probably going to be a bit of a bitch. Yeah, I can see them um, getting the. Cock pack, the coal pack, cock packs, idiot. Getting the uh, pipes off. Pipes? <laughs>